Hi, this is Leah Powell, and I'm here to talk about in this portion of the online SchoolNet module, what is SchoolNet and how do students and staff members access SchoolNet? First, what is SchoolNet? SchoolNet is a role-based instructional management system provided through the home-based resources. This system allows for student performance data to be given easily. You can also access lesson plans as well as resources through SchoolNet along with assessment questions that are pre-made and aligned to your standard course of study. How do staff and students access SchoolNet? You will first begin by going to the my.ncedcloud.org. Here, you will be prompted to enter your staff UID number or students will enter their student ID number. After this, you will then enter your unique password that you would use for PowerSchool to get into the NC iCloud system. Once you are here, you will be on your application homepage and you will access SchoolNet by using the little house option that is located here on this page. What if a student forgets a password? Students will forget their passwords as well as be accustomed to using their parent information to access their own grades. Students must have their own student ID number as well as a unique password to access the NC Ed Cloud and their SchoolNet system. So let's talk about what are the steps to follow if a student forgets their password. First, you will begin with the student themselves. Then they will move on to their classroom teachers. Next step will be to contact an instructional technology facilitator. And from there, the last person to reach out to would be the data manager. Students will begin with themselves if they do not remember their password or their user ID. He or she is able to access a need help option on the NC Ed Cloud homepage. Once they do this, they will be provided with some help links. They can choose forget my username or password, forget my password, or, and so on. If, is the, if this does not help the student access SchoolNet or their PowerSchool information, they then can move on to the classroom teacher. With the classroom teacher, each teacher is able to view a student's username as well as change or provide them a password for a student that is enrolled in their classes. In order to do so, the teacher would log into the system as well as and access their applications, profiles, and look at my students. And I'm going to demonstrate this for you in a second. If you need help, after this demonstration, you can access the link below and that will also be of some support to get your students going with the SchoolNet system. Once you have logged in to the SchoolNet system, which I am jumping around here for one second, I apologize. Now that we are here and access the Rapid Identity or NCA Cloud homepage, when you log in, you will each uh, land on your Applications tab. In order to access the capability to reset student passwords as well as access their uh, user number, you will then go to Profiles. My system looks slightly different from the access in which you may or may not have, but there will be a tab at the top here that says My Students or My Classrooms. Once you enter this, you will have a list of your students' names available in alphabetical order for every student in your class that you can then check and choose Change Password. With the view that I have now, the Change Password option is grayed out and I'm not able to access any of this. However, once you choose some student names, so I can see on this landing, I have selected some students and I was able to select Change Password. From here, you have the capability to set the password to a default va value, which you can see here, there's a default value for each student. So I could select set, set password to default value and select save, or I can also simply type in a password here that will allow the students to use this password, and you need to enter it twice, to access their NC Ed Cloud. 
If the student is with me when I complete this process, I usually have them type the password in which they would like here and select save. If the student is not with me when I need to change their password, I generally select a uh, generic password such as awesome16 here and I select user must change password at next login so that the, it gives the student the opportunity to provide their own password. I am going to now head back here. So if it does not work out that the teacher is able, or you as the teacher are able to change the student password, you will then reach out to an instructional technology facilitator. You can send an email to either myself, and I am the instructional tech for the high schools, or you can send an email to Dr. Jane Steelman, who is the instructional tech for the middle schools, or Ms. Gwen Lofton, and she is the ITF for the elementary schools. If an email is not the way in which you would like to correspond with us, you can also access this link, this goo.goal, and complete this for each student that is having difficulty, and we will reach back out to them with a password and access to the IAM system or SchoolNet. Please do not hesitate to reach out to any of the three of us for help with SchoolNet or any other type of instructional tech tools. The very last person to reach out to is the data manager. The data manager is not able to reset IAM passwords, however they can provide a little bit more information on the student account. So if the student can get into the NCI cloud, uh, into the NCI cloud but is unable to access their gradebook, there may be a lock that the data manager can reset for those students, or they will also be able to see if the student has access and is enrolled into the system. So I would like to say for this portion of the online module, thank you very much, and please let me know if I can help in any way with providing you or your students access, as well as learning more about what SchoolNet is. Have a good day.